You know, Google wants the airwaves. Master Chief is apparently down with foursomes. And Jason Bourne is set to shaky cam his way to box office gold. I remember everything. It's The Loop. We can review. All right, joining us via satellite from New York City, Sirius Maxim radio host John DeVore is here. In Los Angeles, we have Chud.com editor Devin Faraci. And from San Francisco, news and features editor from IGN, Damon Hatfield. Welcome to The Loop, everybody. Let's get right into it. We're going to start things off this week with a big FCC announcement, which is actually exciting for once. Google is now expected to bid on available TV airwaves early next year, thanks to the FCC's willingness to adopt certain open access principles John, what do you think Google really wants to do with these airwaves, and what should they do? Well, look, this is uh, Google's big gamut to kick old media in the coin purse. Uh, you know, it's, uh, they, they want to own the future of media. And, you know, as much as uh, I don't want to feel pity for companies like Viacom and other old media companies, uh, this is uh, a lot of showboating and a, and a lot of, of Google trying to make the future theirs. Devin, do you think this is really Google's, like, next step towards global domination? Yeah, I think this is like Google's 15th step. I think we're already living in a Google planet, and they're just sort of making it much more obvious now. Damon, are you expecting a, like a Verizon to receive the coin purse kick very soon from them, or is that 10, 15, 20 years down the road? Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it right now. It's Google's game for the moment. All right. Well, speaking of games, let's, let's talk about the big announcement from Rockstar Games. Grand Theft Auto 4 is being delayed until next year, which is great news for Master Chief in the competition. Damon, I mean, when you take this news coupled with Halo 3's newly announced uh, four-player co-op support, does this game have any competition this fall? Uh, a little bit from Madden, but no, not really. No, this is, is going to be. Uh, are, wait, are Madden and Halo really competing for the same game space? Well, Halo 3, GTA 4, and Madden were expected to uh, account for 50% of all g- video game sales for the certain second half of the year. So now the GTA is out of the picture. You know, Madden's still a little bit in there, but it's going to be a very Master Chief Christmas. Devin, what do you think here? Is, uh, is Take-Two completely screwed, or are they going to make all their money back uh, just fine next year? Uh, I think next year everybody's going to be running to pick up that game. It's not a big deal. I mean, in the meantime, Halo is pretty much reinventing Gauntlet with the four-player game, and I think that's going to be exciting news for 2007. I agree with that. John, do you think you know, Halo 3's co-op, is that going to set like a new standard for games? I mean, definitely there's a resurge in co-op gameplay, but now do they have to have four players? Well, dude, all I know about all I know about Halo 3 is this. I got a buddy that came to me a couple of weekends ago and told me he rocked 55 hours on Halo 2. All I have to do is call him up right now and whisper Halo 3, and he's going to have a nerdgasm. Uh, I think that is the game to beat. Is he the guy with the, the Halo monk chant as his ringtone that's going to buy the legendary edition and then wear the Spartan helmet while he's playing? I don't know, dude. All I know is he locked himself in his bedroom like one of those fat guys that hides Cheetos under their man breasts. <laughs> oh, so you're talking... Okay, that's our, that's our demo. Thank you for that. Yeah, no, he's very <laughs> socialized. Let's, uh, let's move right along to the last of the, uh, the big summer three quills. It opened today. It's the Bourne Ultimatum. Already getting great reviews. Looks like it's going to be a hit. Devin, do you think this will be, like, the best movie of the summer? This is, like, one of the best movies of the year. I mean, The Bourne Ultimatum is just not just a great action movie. It's a great movie, and it really proves that you don't have to make an action movie totally retarded to make it a complete blast from beginning to end. John, would you agree with that? Uh, look, uh, it's a near-perfect trio of movies. Uh, it is an adult film. All the films this summer have been for, like, 12-year-old boys. My only problem with The Bourne Ultimatum is that Matt Damon plays Jason Bourne like a, an emo human weapon. He's really, he's really, he's, like, existentially glum while he's uh, throwing the kung fu moves. But, but do, they, do they have to worry about any competition from Bratz? Uh, no, 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 I don't. I think that this is the one movie for adults this, you know, uh, this summer. Right. Uh, well, not to take anything away from Transformers. Sure. Well, then let, let's talk about a movie for the kids that, that, that transcended that and, of course, was for the adults as well. Damon, does Bourne have what it takes to overthrow Simpsons for the number one spot this weekend? I don't know. They didn't brand any 7-Elevens as Jason Bourne nomarts. I think uh, Simpsons has a much bigger <laughs> fan base, a uh, much bigger marketing push, and there's a lot, you know, Several shows were sold out last weekend, so there's still people that haven't gotten to see The Simpsons yet. I think. Uh, so you don't, you don't think Matt has what it takes then? I don't know. I think that The Simpsons. Not necessarily. Are, you know, $75 million or whatever it did last weekend. That's pretty much everybody who wanted to see The Simpsons. And now it's time after you've seen Bart's penis to go move on to see Matt Bourne <laughs> kicking some ass. Good. I'm glad you didn't say it's time to move on to Matt's genitalia, by the way. Thank you for, for staying away <laughs> from that. That's the fourth one. Finally, we have news from China. First, you know, there's talks that Steven Spielberg is going to resign as an artistic advisor for the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing. But now, the country is refusing to allow Rush Hour 3, which, which stars beloved na- native, native son Jackie Chan. It's his country. John, what's up with China? I mean, is this a little payback I, you know, in the entertainment industry? 
Well, first of all, remember, China frequently and routinely edits Hollywood movies. Uh, but the bigger picture is this. China's going through what we like to call in global politics an awkward phase. Uh, they're like a superpower cocktail of uh, draconian and uh, the cyberpunk. It's a weird sort of like... Uh, like tension going on in China between a communist government that wants to censor and a very uh, liberal, very wired uh, uh, culture. Sure, but I mean, but what does this have to do with uh, Chris Tucker again? I mean, uh, he, obviously uh, they don't like Chris Tucker. Yeah, all right, but fair enough. Devin, they don't find what, him funny. Who does? What, what do you think about this? I mean, come <laughs> on, are they are they right on the money when they say Rush Hour Three is fundamentally anti-Chinese? I, well, I mean, Rush Hour Three is probably fundamentally anti-human, but I mean, <laughs> let's face facts. I mean, China is a tyranny, and and it's a it's a dictatorship. It's a terrible government. Let's not pussyfoot around. We we play games with them because they have a lot of people who will buy a lot of stuff. But the fact yeah. of the matter is, at the end of the day, when you have that kind of a government, what they do is the least thing that you say that they don't like, they're going to shut you down, and that's what we're and seeing look, happening uh, right here. And that's why it's so great that Spielberg is pulled out of the Olympic Games because aside from everything else in Darfur, it's just great to see somebody step up and say, you know what, screw this. We don't care how many people you have for me to sell my new movie to you. Uh, if you're not going to play the human rights game properly, we're not going to play We're not gonna play with you. John, it looked like you wanted the let final me, word, add, and I'll give it to you real quick. All, and all I want to say is that the story here isn't them punishing Hollywood. It's the fact that Hollywood is really eager to bend over backwards. It's not... Rush Hour 3, it's all of the movies, like Mission Impossible 3, that they allow China to censor. All right. Well, I want to thank my guests, John, Devin, and Damon, for keeping us in the loop. Appreciate it. That was a good wrap-up, guys. Attack of the Show, weeknights at 7, only on G4.